Hello and welcome to another Chegg uh, Tutors tutorial video and this is uh, and in this video we are going to go over the physics topic of Newton's first law of motion. So after the video you can uh, check me out Alex H uh, at this link below. So right now let's just get started. Um, so what is the first law of motion? What does it state? So uh, the most simple definition for the first law of motion is this. An object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion with the same speed and same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff, but those, that amount of words, it could be really, really simplified. Um, simply state it, the first law of motion says anything, whatever it is, it will continue resting or moving in exactly the same way it was before unless something changes that, something puts a force onto it, uh, pushes it, pulls it, anything. So the first law of motion is also uh, known as the law of inertia. Okay, and so what is the law? Of inertia, uh, what is inertia? Inertia is resistance of an object to change motion, right? So this that's you can kind of see how this could be known as the law of uh, inertia because that's saying like all objects um, in whatever uh, motion or rest they are in, they resist any change to how they uh, are. Uh, currently. Okay, so let's just go over some examples where we can kind of see how the first law of motion, oh, first law of motion uh, interacts with objects. Okay, so really, really simple. This is a ball or a sphere or anything. Okay, and let's say it's free floating in space. Okay, no forces are acting on it, there's no gravity, nothing. Okay, nothing is interacting whatsoever. And it's at rest. There is so it's just at rest, and nothing is affecting it. So according to the first law of motion, it must therefore keep staying at rest. So you visit it a minute later, it's still at rest. A year later, a millennia later, as long as nothing has been interacting with that sphere in space, it will stay at rest indefinitely okay now moving on to a another example let's say we have the same exact ball or circle or sphere in space okay but now it's moving in a direction for now on our page we are saying it's moving to the right at five meters per second okay uh, so it's in space and it's moving at a constant velocity to the right and no other forces are interacting with it. There's no gravity, no push, no pull, nothing, okay? According to Newton's law, that sphere will indefinitely keep moving to the right in that direction and never, never stop or slow down, speed up, none of that. It will continue at exactly I'm sorry, exactly five meters per second uh, to the right uh, until it is acted upon by an outside unbalanced force, okay? Unbalanced means, pretty much it means uh, it has, it's acting in a direction and there is no reaction in the, in the same, uh, in the opposite uh, direction, okay? So, sphere, always going five meters to, per second to the right. Okay, next example. Let's say we are on Earth now, okay? Um, and we have an example where a book is on a table, okay? So the book is at rest. No, no for, it's not moving at any velocity. It's just at rest on a table, okay? Now, this is where the unbalanced force uh, kind of comes in, okay? So if it's at rest, it's from what we've known, it should stay at rest, right? 
But in this example, not like in space, there is a force acting on it, okay? So let's do a free body diagram. I hope you've gone over that already. Okay? So this is our free body diagram representing uh, our book. So there are forces acting on this book, even though it is stationary at rest, okay? We have a force downwards by gravity, okay? Force of gravity. I'm going to label this as F of G. And then what other force is there? There is also the normal force by the table onto the book upwards, okay? I'm going to do this F of N. Okay, so uh, I said before, uh, as the first law stated, this object should stay at rest unless acted by an unbalanced force. Well, there are forces acting on this book. However, they're not unbalanced. They are absolutely balanced because the normal force and the gravitational force are equal but opposite in direction, right? One is going up, that's the normal force. One's going down, the for, uh, force of gravity. Therefore, there is a balanced force, not an unbalanced force, but a balanced force acting on the book. Therefore, the book will continue to stay at rest indefinitely. <laughs> I guess that's the real um, lesson in this. Every, things will just stay as they are unless acted upon by an outside unbalanced force. Okay? So if you have any other questions, feel free to message me by following that link at the beginning of this video. And you should have a great day. Thanks.